Kevin Knox on his third NBA team. The Fortnite suit wearing man. Damn. Trapistons should be calling themselves the Reclamation Project because they seem to get the best out of every former lottery pick. Kevin Knox came out tonight at 17 points of steal and assist, 8 rebounds. And that's the thing with Kevin Knox for the season is he's only he's appeared in 11 games, been averaging 9 minutes over the last 6 games. Those numbers have gone up to 11 minutes. And it, again, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, this season Kevin Knox has been phenomenal. But in the games that he has played a decent bit of minutes, which is not three games, uh, back-to-back games where he had 20 minutes, over 20 minutes against Sacramento Kings, he had dropped 11 points and was three for five from three-point land. Tonight he was one for four, but he had 17 points. And what he's shown in all these, and then he had another game earlier in the season uh, in November where he had 18 minutes. But basically every night that he's had double-digit minutes, He's came out and been a pretty solid rebounder for this team from the wing position. Also playing some good, decent defense. And for me, when you watch this guy, I think it's definitely, look, he's a guy who has shown right now, he takes 62% of his shots from three-point range. That's extremely good, and he's extremely aware of his shooting like what he is okay and for me when i i look at him right now worst comes to worst kevin knox is j a jake layman guy where he'll make money overseas and if he does where it works out he'll be fine but for me i think this is sorry i got a text message he's a guy that he's just gonna have to start to just play to his strength which is rebounding shooting threes and being able to just play within an offense and help defense because when you look at his performances like according to 538.com his career arc right now these are the 10 players he's most likely to be like Dermar Johnson, Kevin Brooks, Kenny Carr, Jason Williams, I think O O Petro, I don't even know who that is. Doug Doug West, Malachi Richardson, Jake Layman, Wally Walker, and Elijah Hughes. So, with that being said, I think you look at this and and Kevin Knox, he's got the size to be a small forward, power forward. And to be able to make an impact on the team and help them win games. So, and then you look at tonight, like when he's playing along guys like Jalen Duran, Corey Joseph, Alec Burks, Al Burks, who was phenomenal tonight, and teams better be trying to get him. Him, him I do. Him, he do. Him, he do Dialu. And then Kelly and Hayes, Jay Knife, also Kelly and Hayes is right here fighting for a new job or something. And he's a great passer and defender. It's just that three point shot. Boyan Bogdanovich, Isaiah Livers, Marvin Bagley, who was pretty solid tonight. It's just figuring all that out and what's his place in the NBA. But for me, I think Kevin Knox is not as bad as some people might be acting as if. But he's showing that he's the type of guy that he knows how to be in the right place at the right time. And I'm enjoying it. I think he's a good player that people have just kind of written off because he had a you know a rough start to career plus he, people forget that he started with tom thibodeau and tom thibodeau is like the worst developmental coach of all time so for y'all keep that as a grain of salt because i feel like that's just something people are completely forgetting about our man and who he is but yeah that's where I want to hear your guys' opinions. What do you guys think of this? Is this just me? Am I an idiot for think or defending him? Let me know. I don't think I am. I think he's a guy who could definitely be a decent basketball player. And maybe it just takes some guys longer, you know, to figure it out. And that's what we're here trying to convey and tell you guys that it's taken him a little bit longer than you would have liked for him to figure it out. But 
He has all the tools and all the makings of being a decent basketball player.